Hi, I'm Tony with Timeless Cottage Gifts and I participated in Tiffany McGill's Coffee, Cake and Crafting's Group Swap, the Loaded Christmas Jumbo Tag Swap. It was hosted by Brittany Bentley of BB's Crafts on YouTube and you could choose either traditional or pastel. I chose traditional and I used the Christmas Basics from Hobby Lobby as my palette. Uh, I pretty much used mostly this paper. Sometimes I used some other. And what you had to do was you got had to make a jumbo tag with a pocket using either chipboard as your base or um, she said you could use cereal boxes or macaroni and cheese boxes, but I used just regular medium weight chipboard. And what I did was I painted it with chalk paint. And if you paint chipboard with chalk paint, it won't warp, it seals it. So after I painted it with the chalk paint, I was able to paint it with the acrylic paint. And then it, it just, it's regular and just a flat piece of paper. I hope it's okay. She said to cover it completely with paper. Um, it's completely covered, but um, I wanted a background, uh, kind of a frame around it. So that's why I painted it. I wanted that kind of a look. Um, and it had to have a pocket and you had to decorate the tag with at least three embellishments and a sentiment of some sort. And the sentiment is not to be counted as an embellishment. So the embellishments, I got one, two, three, four embellishments. I did um, little gift boxes and I painted uh, the Dollar Tree Christmas tree. And I also painted the Dollar Tree Believe sign, the, the little believe lettering. And what my uh, sentiment is, is believe in the magic of Christmas. And then you had to make two embellishments. So I made, I actually made three. So you could, um, you can make three it it was I cut this with chipboard as well I completely covered it with paper added a tiny little tag and a, a little um you know embellishment on top of each embellishment and I packaged them up in here they have a little clothespin closing them up and I'm going to stick that in there and then you had to make bows you had to make two bows I made two of each kind uh, this was fun. This is faux leather. The, the gold is faux leather. And I found these little stickers over at Hobby Lobby. And then I did the, um, these bows here are double layered with plaid. And they have a little charm dangling, dangling, dangling from them. And then I packaged that up. So that'll go in here. And I also included a shaker die just in case um, they want to use it or gift it to somebody else. And I also included a pack of six by six paper. I also got that at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to add that in there. You also had to do, let's see, you had the bows, altered paper clips or clothes pins. And what I did is I, um, I got this box. This box has gum in it and you can, it has a lot of gum in it. And um, I saved them. So I decorated them and I made some altered clothespins. I had the glitter clothespins and I actually painted these. They come from, they came from Hobby Lobby as well. And what you do is you get these and you paint them. So I painted those and I put them in their little container here and they just pop right in very easily and close it up. And you had to make a dangle. Now this was kind of tricky for me. I've, I'm not very good at this. So I made it, this is my third Christmas swap that I've made this year. And um, I used a key in every one of them. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna use a key in this one too. And this is just a dangle charm. Um, she could probably hang it from her purse if she wants or um, hang it from the tree or you can actually separate them. 
because there's a lobster clasp here and then there's another clip here. So that's that. I wire wrapped some beads and uh, added some charms and actually made a, an angel charm on there. So that is the dingle charm. And then, oh, you had to, what did you have to do? You had to package up your swap nicely and make sure you have the group information. So I got kind of obsessed with making these beaded tassels. I just love them. I made uh, one for me too. Um, but this has the group information on it. And um, these are my partners, Marsha Hepner and Don Nugent. And of course I made one for Brittany. And, um, oh, the tag. So the tag had to be, let me move this out of the way. The tag had to be shaped. It couldn't be shaped like a tag and then decorated. It had to be a shape tag. So I did the uh, bells. I did two bells and I actually made a bunch of these candy canes one year. <laughs> a ton of them out of the polymer clay. So I added that, added some holly, and then you had to have a two from on the back and there's your two from. And you can eat and put that on a gift. It has to be the size of your palm. I know it's probably, well, it adds fingers too. <laughs> Anyways, that is my swap. I think that's all. Thank you so much for wa watching and have a very Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh, I wanna tell you about the letters. I actually, let me move this one. If you, you get the swap and I, have a um, one of these chains and a letter and these letters all I did was print them out in my Cricut with craft paper and I layered them I think there's like four layers of the craft paper there might be five and then I mirrored one side and then I um, I I made two of the letters and one side was mirrored and then you just what I did was I painted the side with chalk paint and so and then I inked it up and they're very easy to make and they have a kind of like a little wow effect I think they're very pretty and I used the paper the same paper I was using and uh and these were the lettering so I was able to so that way when Brittany gets them she doesn't have to wonder who they go to the presents have their names on them but she might not see that so this way she'll be able to tell thank you so much bye Merry Christmas